He's working from home this afternoon. You got to look at the weather forecast. Hey, Jordan. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon, John. And that's right. Uh, we're looking at some cloudier skies as we head into your Thursday afternoon. But overall, things are pretty pleasant. We just see some fog, but that's clearing out. We will see some sunshine trying to peek through as we take a live look outside right now. Current temperature on the board here. We got 49 degrees for Sacramento and Stockton down in Modesto, 46 degrees and still seeing some fog there. But that's going to continue to clear as we go throughout the afternoon and 48 degrees up in Marysville. As far as uh, what we are expecting for the afternoon, 80% humidity, our dew point at 43, and the winds right now from the east northeast on the lighter side at just five miles per hour. Our pressure right now at 30.27. So as we take a look at our 24 hour change, we are slightly warmer here in the valley, anywhere from one to four degrees warmer, but up in the high country, that's where you're 14 degrees cooler out in Truckee. So enjoy that cooler weather because we're expecting to see things a bit uh, warmer by next week. Here's a look at that visibility map. Once again, we had some patchy dense fog this morning, but already clearing out with the exception of Modesto, where you got visibility down to three miles. So that'll slowly clear as we head towards mid afternoon. The winds have been fairly light all across the board, and we're going to remain that way throughout the evening tonight. Our current satellite and radar does show the mid and high level cloud coverage moving in from the west. There is the chance for some shower activity. Now, today will remain fairly dry for much of the afternoon. As we head into the overnight hours, we're tracking a very weak system that is expected to bring us uh, the slight chance for rain here in the valley and more mountain snow up in the Sierra. So let's go through the timing of it again, partly to mostly cloudy for the afternoon. And then by seven o'clock, we'll get some rain moving into the state. That's mainly going to be impacting the coastal range up to the north. And then we head closer to that midnight hour. And that's when we get the chance for some rain along the Bay Area. And eventually by two, three o'clock in the morning, that's when we'll likely see the chance for rain pushing through in the valley. But some of it may linger through your morning commute. So just be aware of that. And then we'll get some mountain snow coming down around 6,000 feet. So we could see anywhere from two to four inches, even six in some spots. And then by the time the sun comes up, we'll still see some cloud coverage, but we're expecting some sunshine for your Friday. As far as how much rain we could get again, about a 10th of an inch. So a lot more rain than we saw yesterday afternoon here in the valley, but a lot less than what we saw starting off the week. As we uh, get into the weekend, though, get ready for high pressure to build right back in. And that means not only dry weather, but some warmer temperatures as well. So for today, again, we're going to be dry. Then the rain comes in late tonight, early tomorrow morning, but this afternoon 60 for the Bay Area. And then we'll be at mid 50s from the Delta all the way through the foothills with lighter winds and up in the Sierra. Mostly cloudy skies today, a southwest wind at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And then tonight it's going to be another cool one. Low 40s here in the valley, mid 40s into the foothills and 20s up towards Truckee and South Lake Tahoe. So here we go. After the rain moves in late tonight, it'll still linger for your Friday, but things should be clearing out throughout the day tomorrow. The weekend's looking pretty good. We have mostly sunny on Saturday, partly sunny by Sunday and then heading into next week. Get ready. 61 by Tuesday. And Wednesday, we're going to be in the mid 60s. That is about 10 to 12 degrees above our average for this time of the year. Uh, mostly dry conditions for this weekend and into next week as well. That's uh, your forecast. We've got more coming up right here on CBS 13. We'll be right back.